Today we are going to create this object outline moving effect in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it to highlight any object you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and in order to create this effect, you need to have a video of an object. So you can take out your smartphone or camera and just record the video while moving around any object. So I am going to create this effect around this monitor screen and whatever object you want to create the effect make sure that it is completely visible inside your frame and after that you can import the video in after effects now this practice video footage and the tutorial project files both are available on my patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download these from there and after that you can follow along otherwise you can record whatever video you want and import it in after effects so once you're done with this we can select this video and let's drag it onto this composition icon i'm going to quickly pick some points from where we want the effect to start so this is going to be a starting point and this is going to be our end point so i'm going to trim my composition to this length right click trim com to work area so this is going to be our region so once you're done with this we are going to first create a mask then track it and after that apply the effect so for the tracking part there are basically three ways in which you can track your mask so i'm going to show you all of these three methods now it's completely up to you you can pick whatever you want all of these methods have their own pros and cons so i'll leave that up to you whatever you want to pick so the first tracking method is the manual tracking now this is the most time consuming and the painful method but it gives you the best result and if you want to do this then it's completely up to you and sometimes method 2 and method 3 won't work so this is your only option let me show you how to do the manual tracking so for that let's select the pen tool make sure that this video layer is selected now create a mask around the object which you want to apply the effect on so i'm going to create mask around this monitor screen and at last let's close this mask like this now once you're happy with this we can select this press m let's set the mask to none and in order to do the manual tracking all we have to do is just add a keyframe for the mask path now let's quickly zoom in now we are going to move one frame at a time so you can press page down key to move one frame or you can like use the mouse to move one frame ahead and after that you can manually double click on this mask and just align it according to your object and now it is perfectly aligned you can see that it will create a keyframe manually now just move one frame ahead and like move all of these masks again like that now in the same way you have to like track all of these like this is very time consuming and there is one thing that you can do instead of moving uh, like one frame you can move like five to ten frames so let's move over here now if i double click i can move all of them at once you can also do some fine tuning so we can select the individual mask and we can play around with their position now if I move around, you can see our mask is nicely tracked, but this is very time consuming because we have to do a lot of manual tracking. And like I said, sometimes method two and three won't work. So this is your best option, but I will highly recommend you to use the method number two, which is using the mask tracking. So let me show you how to do that. So let's go to the very beginning and we can get rid of this mask path keyframes by clicking on this stopwatch. Now in order to let after effects do the tracking, we can select this mask. And if I right click, you can see we have this track mask option. If I click on that, it will highlight this tracker panel now we can from here we can just simply click on this play icon and it will start tracking now sometimes it will do a very nice job and it will track the whole footage but you can see that this footage is not that good as we don't have much details over there so this method is not working in this case but i would highly recommend to you to try this method in case this works because this is the most fastest method that you can use and also this method can work on curved surfaces as well so let me show you if i select this mask i can delete this so in this region we have this camera and you can see that it is nicely visible so i can create a mask and you can see that i am creating these curved masks so this method is the only method in which you can create the curved mask again we can set this to none let's select this mask right click click on track and now if i click on play you can see that this method is tracking our object very nicely and sometimes it will work sometimes it won't but if this works this is the fastest method so in my case method one is very time consuming and method two is not working so i'm going to use the method three and the downside with the method three is that it won't work on curved surfaces it might work but you have to do a lot of working so let me show you if you want to 
track any mask that has like points like straight lines and how to do that so first i'm going to delete this mask now for this third one i'm not going to create a mask onto this you can create a mask if you want but i'm going to instead create a new solid and let's make it black color and i'm going to hide this and onto this i'm going to create a very rough mask you don't have to align the mask onto your object just create a four point because we have four corners and after that we can unselect this make sure that this layer is selected and we are going to make use of this track motion under the tracker panel if you're not able to see the tracker panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it so after that just select this and let's click on track motion now it will give you this tracking point now if i zoom in i can click and move this tracking point to a location so let's pick one of these points like that now we can pick anything which has high contrast let's increase the box size for both of these and once we're done with this we can click on this play option over here if i click on play you can see that our after effects will start tracking and you can see that it is doing a very nice job in tracking this point and it is very fast as well you can see and now our tracking is done so once the tracking is done we can create a null object so right click let's create a null object now go to edit target select this null which you just created click on ok then click on apply and just click on ok now we have this null object that is following our point and in the same way we can track all of these four corners so let me just quickly do that so if i click on track motion we have the second one so i'm going to track this corner and there is one more problem that you will run into so if i place it over here you can see we don't have much contrasting area and if i start tracking over here you can see our mask will start drifting very early so let me just quickly go to the very beginning and if i try to track these points so let's just pick and move it over here and if i click on track you can see that our tracking marker is like moving a lot more and it is not able to track fully so in such cases what you can do is let me just quickly press ctrl z instead of tracking this point you can find a point that is nearby and which has a nice contrast so for example this point has some nice contrast this black and white region and instead of tracking this point i'm going to track this one and now if i click on play you can see it is able to track that point very nicely so now it is done and we can easily move this tracking point again back to this one so let me show you how so let's create a null object and let's repeat this step click on edit target let's select this null object okay apply let's click on okay so here we have the second null and if i zoom in you can see that it is tracked onto this point but we actually want it to be over here so for that what we can do is we can create another null object and let's select this null and let's parent it to this new null now let's select this new null press p for position and we can use it to move our tracking null to whatever location we want and once it has moved if i move it around you can see that now this point will be sticking towards this location and it is moving perfectly now we can get rid of this null which we just created so now we have moved our tracking point from this location to this one so in the same way you can track these two other points as well so this one and this one i will come back once it is done all right so now i'm done with the tracking and we have these four nulls that are sticking to their point so once we're done with this we can move to the next step so let's select this solid and i'm going to quickly enable it now if i open this mask we can select this mask path now there is one more step that you have to do if i go to windows we have a script that comes in built in after effects which is this create null from points these and if i click on that it will give you this point so make sure that this path is selected then click on points follow null and then after effects will create these four points that will help us to move our mask so our last step is to like align these masks to wherever we have these nulls so this will go to this which is the null 4 so i'm going to select this null now we have to parent it to the null 4 so in order to do that hold on the shift key make sure that you hold the shift key because this is the most important part if you pick whip and if i select this null 4 you can see that this point will automatically move to our null object now if we can select this null which is this one and this will go to the null 5 hold on the shift key and parent it to the null 5 this one will go to null 2 and hold on the shift key let's parent it to null 2 
and this one will go to null fun so hold on shift key and parent it to null fun so now we have parented and if i press play now you can see that we have this black solid that is sticking completely to our screen now before we proceed there is one thing that i want to talk with you guys so for example this tutorial is not meant to teach you anything about green screen but all the methods that i have shown you can use it to create something like this so for example we have this black solid and if i search for fill and if i apply it onto this layer and if i change it to green now you can see that we have changed our screen to this green screen which works perfectly with our example so the basic idea of a tutorial is not to teach you a particular effect but to show you some techniques that you can use in some other ways as well so for example in this way we can create a green screen by simply using this technique but since we are not creating that so we can probably delete this now in order to create this stroke i'm going to use a free plugin called saber now it's a very nice plugin and it's completely free i will put a link in the description from where you can download it and after that you can install it as well so after the installation we can search for saber and let's drag this onto our black solid and right away it will create this glowing outline let's place this onto our mask so let's go under the customize core and i'm going to select the layer mask and once we're done with this we can change the blending mode we can set it to add or if you want you can set it to screen as well but i'm going to set this one to add for now and once we're done with this we can play around with some things so glow intensity we can probably reduce it down a little bit now let's play around with our mask so for that we can go inside this property and we have some properties so for example end evolution we can trim it down and let's move it to this part only and if you want you can select whatever presets you want so you can see we have a bunch of different presets and if i select this you can see we have some fires we have different type of effects whatever you want we have some electricity energies whatever you want but for this one i'm going to use the default one which is just the plain effect so once you're done with this we can animate this by simply going to the very beginning now we have this mask evolution if i move it around you can see our stroke is moving so i can add a keyframe for this mask and let's go to the very ending we can move it to anti-clockwise so i'm going to set this to negative two now if i press play you can see we have this stroke moving and in the same way you can play around with the end as well so let's move it if you want to increase the size we can move the end point something like this so once we're done with this we can have one more stroke so for that we can select this let's press ctrl d to duplicate this and on this one what we can do is we can just simply change the mask evolution so let's select this and i'm going to move this one to this location like that so basically completely opposite of it now again we can add a keyframe let's go to this point let's just change this to negative two now we have these two instances and we can also change its color i'm going to make it something like orange now if i zoom out and press play you can see we have these outlines around our screen there is one more thing you can select your background let's search for exposure effect and let's drag it over to this we can make it little bit dull so that these highlights are like popping out like that again you can play around with the color you can choose different types so here you can see we have changed the preset to electricity now we have these electric lines flowing around so this is how you can create the object outline effect in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one